Today is our 10th day in Puerto Vallarta and we are now on our way to the pier for our next adventure. On our way to a beach town called Yanapa. We are taking a boat to get there. There is no road to get there, and so we're just waiting in line for our boat. We waited for about 15 minutes for our water taxi to arrive. When the boat is running, please don't try to touch the water. Big the water splash and get into the boat. Behind you, get wet, and leave me sometimes. I like it, <laughs> right? And then we headed out. So, if you guys want to do something or buy something that is not in your budget, go ahead and do it. No stop. <laughs> so we made it to Yelapa. It was about a half hour boat ride. Very beautiful scenery. And this beach looks awesome. There's also a waterfall that we could walk to, which we are planning on doing. So we are ready to check this place out. So now we are ordering lunch on the beach. Aliyah found a friend to play with and while we waited for lunch, Steve decided to go parasailing. <laughs> what did you think? Did you want to go up there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have lunch on the beach. We've got chicken fajitas and chicken tacos. Can I have one chicken fajita? Yeah, we have chicken fajitas for you. Yeah. Too. You want a chicken fajita? You want just one? All right, come on out. That is super good. How's your fajita, Leah? Mm. <laughs> Silly goose. Delicious. So we've been hanging out at the beach for about two and a half hours and now we are going to go on a little walk and explore the town.
there were stairs, stairs, and more stairs. But it was all worth it. This is such a neat, unique little town. It is really fun to walk through and see the architecture and the cobblestone street and uh, the flowers, the vegetation. It's really beautiful. A lot of the wall art here is made with upcycled materials like bottle caps, broken glass, and tile pieces. Each doorway looks different and is very unique with lots of character. We came to the end of our walk through Yelapa and started heading back to the beach. We decided to go back a different way than we came so we could see more of this beautiful town. where the waterfall comes from but since it's dry season we did not go to it since as you can see there's only a little bit of water so it probably will not be all that impressive. It was totally worth coming to this little town and just walking along the streets. There were some people trying to sell us ATV rides through the town so you don't have to walk but it's actually a lot more fun walking through it because you get to experience more of the place. <laughs> We are now heading back to our water taxi to head back into town. We spent the whole day here. We got here around 10.30, 10.45 in the morning. And it is almost four o'clock now in the afternoon. It was a wonderful, wonderful day spent at a beautiful beach. We got to tour through the little town of Yalapa. It's very unique, narrow streets, cobblestone and beautiful vegetation and flowers, leaves, lots of dogs and cats laying around, sleeping in the sun. We got to see a, a big lizard that unfortunately got away from us before we got to film it. And they also had horses. You can go horseback riding here. 
the saddles were made out of wood and we don't have pants so we didn't think that was going to be a good idea so we didn't do the horse ride. Overall it was a really, really neat experience, a lot of fun, really beautiful place, totally worth coming to. Think. Was that a fun ride? Thanks. Yeah. yeah. And now we are off to dinner after our epic beach boat ride adventure. So we came to the usual plaza where we've been coming for dinner and unfortunately it's closed today. There's nobody here. Since we couldn't get street tacos, we decided to go to a restaurant that we know and love, Casa Tradicional. <laughs> After a long day of fun, right Goose? What is going on here? Okay, but no smiling. No, I don't want to see your teeth. I don't... You almost look like you had a fun day on a beach somewhere. But that can't be true, is it? Okay. Oh, 